hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back thank you for the support guys sometimes i don't have enough words to thank you but god will bless you for me and believe it you will receive the blessings <laughs> so if you're new here it is your first time here in my channel i'm so happy you found my channel please after watching this video remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video so guys today's video is very hot interesting and very important because these days in my dms i get a lot of dms of ladies wanting to marry white men a lady telling me that i am dreaming to marry a white man like i said we shouldn't judge people because of their choices it's very okay to dream to marry a white man but guys marriage isn't a joke marriage isn't something to run into marriage isn't something you should do because you are desperate marriage is a very serious thing to do that is why you should take your time you should choose the right man to marry if you mess on that that means your life will be miserable this marriage might ruin your life completely if you marry a toxic man and that is why today i'm going to be sharing with you how to know if you're about to marry or to get married to a toxic white man but guys remember attention <laughs> these tips aren't only for women who are looking for white men even if you're about to marry any man of any race but he is toxic you will know from this video watch this video enjoy and please if you're in a healthy relationship if you're in a healthy marriage drop us the comment below the advice that you are going to give this lady who is about to get into marriage <laughs> to a toxic man also guys i'm sharing with you this video because i've been through a toxic relationship i shared my video in the past of when i dated a man who was very toxic to me so i have experience of what i am talking about so without wasting much of your time let us jump into our video right away sign number one that you're about to get married to a toxic man or white man is that you guys are always fighting for no reason and when you fight what is very strange is that sometimes this man will tell you to ask him for forgiveness even if it is not your fault he will tell you ask me for forgiveness <laughs> you wronged me <laughs> he will make you feel like you did something wrong which is not and you will always fight when you fight this man breaks up with you <laughs> takes other women and continue with his life but after some time this man will come back to you and tell you let's get back together you know i love you so much i can't live without you and i know you too cannot live without me which is true because you love him so much so you will believe him and take him back but after two or three days you're going to have another fight and break up again <laughs> so it is a continuation of breaking up and getting back together fighting always there is no peace you can't enjoy love it is only fighting and every time you fight it is your fault he tells you it's your fault and he makes you believe that you cannot live without him my dear beautiful ladies do not marry this kind of a man don't think this will end here it won't if you make a mistake and marry this man then you are finished because it is going to repeat itself again and again and again you're going to have a very bad marriage a very toxic marriage and not only that you might be fighting now normal fights breaking up and he goes but when you get married this might transform into violence so these fights are not good a healthy relationship shouldn't have a lot of fights yes misunderstandings happen we are human beings you are not perfect but fighting all the time than enjoying your love it's not healthy guys this relationship is not healthy it is toxic 
it is better to get away from it when it's too early sign number two to know if you're about to get married to a toxic man or white man is that this man will never care about your dreams and your ambitions and whenever you bring the ideas or whenever you tell him your dreams he'll make you look like your dreams are not achievable your dreams are useless your ambitions are childish you know <laughs> he'll make you look like a kid just to put you down to bring you down and feel like you are a very stupid person my dear sister we date people or get married to people who will make us grow we are not expecting to get married to a man and then your dreams are shattered you should marry a man who will make your dreams shine who will make you achieve your dreams because we never stop dreaming as long as we are living guys <laughs> so we should grow even if we are in marriage but if you're in a relationship with this man he is making you like your dreams are not achievable you are a very stupid person whatever you talk about doesn't bring sense this man has got his own plan and his plan isn't good my dear sister <laughs> He's gonna make your life miserable. If you think, if you get married to this man, he will change. He is not going to change. I can assure you this. He's going to marry you. You are going to stay at home. If it is your dream to work, then you will stay at home. And what is more worse, to make you feel really useless, he's not going to take care of you. So to avoid all that, if you see this sign, I've warned you, please don't marry this man or this white man. Number three, to know if you're about to get married to a toxic man or white man is that if you feel this man is using you as his slave, do not tolerate it. And how will you know? You will know if this man is using you as his slave. For example, maybe you are living in another continent, then this man invites you in his country and from the time you arrive, you always work for this man. You work, 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 and try to make everything look perfect for him because you love him. <laughs> and for us, you know, we black women, <laughs> we are trained to treat men very well and all that. So you always try to do everything and like your king, you know, treat him like a king, but he never appreciate. <laughs> He never appreciates everything that you are doing for him and he never helps you but always complain that you are lazy he thought black women were strong how comes you are lazy how comes you cannot do this how comes you are not energetic like he thought then you know that this man wants to use you as his slave. and when you are busy working around the house this man will never help you he is resting but when you finish doing everything i think ah now i think he'll be happy and tell you thank you my love but what he will tell you in return he will tell you it's not enough you are lazy you should do this you should do that but he was resting while you were busy working for him so wake up i believe if this man is healthy for you he will always appreciate everything that you're doing for him yes but if this man you are dating <laughs> he is not appreciate anything but always complain that you are lazy you're not doing anything you know that he is toxic for you do not marry him no matter how rich he is no matter how he tells you good words he is not good for you because when he marries you if you do a mistake and marry this man you are going to turn into his <laughs> so please avoid that do not accept it you are not anyone's you should date a man who treats you as his queen not as his <laughs> my dear sisters <laughs> sign number four to know if you're about to get married to a toxic man or white man is that you are dating a guy and he has got psychological problems 
on psychological history it's so important guys do not ignore it because you are not a therapist you are not you won't be able to handle this if you go ahead and marry this man how will you know that this man has got psychological problems while you are dating maybe you have a very small argument and then he overreacts about it does things which are very strange if you remember a video when i talked of a guy who took a life of the wife it started when they were just talking and he overreacted over something he took a chair and wanted to hit his girlfriend at that time with the chair on the head but they ignored it and in the end what happened guys he took the life of that woman but guys afterwards when the investigation was done and everything they discovered that this guy had psychological problems or sometimes you are dating a guy and he is always sad sometimes he cries for no reason sometimes he has got moods that you don't understand sometimes he says he wants to take his life hey dear sister <laughs> run for your life or oh. <laughs> this man is toxic to you you should marry a man who is happy that is why i also said in my video in order for you to find love you need to be a happy person so this man should be a happy man in order to marry you should be a free man like his mind is free he does not have any psychological problems then he can marry you but apart from that guys if you see that i think it's better you advise this man to seek help <laughs> and when he is fully healed you can continue the relationship and marry him but without that guys you are not a therapist you are not a doctor to help psychological problems of this man i've witnessed a lot of cases whereby these men who has got psychological problems taking the lives of their wives their girlfriends because of that problem last time we had a case whereby there is a guy here in italy who took the life of his two parents and guys it's not that it started that day when he took the life of the parents not at all this this boy or this man had psychological problems when he was 12 years old the parents were fighting with that he even one time wanted to take the life of the girlfriend in germany and then the police came and intervened saved the girl's life but afterwards this guy returned and started living with the parents whereby one day they had a very small argument with his father then he took the life of the father and when he ended like he finished taking the life of the father the mother entered the house she was out witnessed everything so to remove the witness the boy took the life of the mother right now he is in jail but the doctors are saying this boy had psychological problems he should be helped which means he might not be even punished for what he did so please don't get into a relationship with a white man that has got psychological problems it is going to cost you it might even cost your kids if you marry this man save your life run please don't marry this man sign number five to know if you're about to marry a toxic man or white man <laughs> i'm laughing and you will know why i am laughing this is all about a man who was spoiled when he was a kid and they're still spoiling him till now this boyfriend of yours does not want to work he depends on his parents <laughs> to live he is maybe 35 years old but still now he's still depending on the parents and he is happy about it he does not even care <laughs> to look for a job and work he is even convincing you not to work <laughs> because that is the life that he knows he grew up knowing that he should not work he should depend on the parents 
do not marry this man and the reason is he is irresponsible i don't advise any lady to marry a man who is irresponsible and don't think that these kind of men don't exist they exist i've witnessed a lot of these kind of men and in most cases guys the relationships don't work because if this man is depending on his parents it will reach a time <laughs> the parents are going to realize that they spoiled the kid and they might tell him because now you are married <laughs> you should depend on your own and because this man is used to take money from his parents rest at home watch movie live a lazy life he is not going to manage life he's going to give you a lot of stress which is unnecessary guys it's better to avoid it while it's too early i tell you my dear sisters no matter how desperate you are no matter how you want to get married to a white man but if you are dating this kind of a man it's better you leave this man as early as possible before it's too late for you you will tell me bella i'll look for a job when he marries me i tell you my sisters i am in europe i live in europe i know how it is hard to find a job especially if you are black maybe you are a graduate and you have your certificates but when you are here you have to change everything it takes time before you get a job that is why i'm telling you to avoid all the unnecessary stress it's better it's better guys not to marry this kind of a man marry a man who is responsible responsible for his life i told you last time that white men marry women who are responsible for their lives then even you as a black woman looking for a white man for marriage you should marry or you should get married to a white man who is responsible number six i know some of you are going to disagree with me on this but it's okay you can disagree guys there is no problem with that so you've been dating a guy and every time you go on a date he makes you pay for your own bills <laughs> and he's been giving you these ideas of 50 50 when you get married so if you are a woman like me if you think like me if you think like me guys that is when what i am talking about will make sense to you because for me i believe a man should stand as a man a man should take care of his wife a man should take care of the family <laughs> a man should spoil you sometimes you know he should spoil you as his girlfriend or as his wife he should spoil you but these things of 50 50 i think for me doesn't make sense and if a man starts telling me these things when we are dating like when we get married we are going to be sharing bills and all that this means that this man might not even be in love with me but maybe he is looking for someone to share the bills with so that is why i'm not going to marry this man and another reason is i believe as a man you should stand as a man take care of your wife take care of your responsibilities yes guys it is very understandable if you are working both of you you should help this man you can't let this man pay all the bills and your money is your money <laughs> you do whatever you want with your money no you should help this man sometimes on bills and some small things but not forced guys not forced you should be willing to do it but this man shouldn't force you and if it is something that you don't believe in don't even try it first when you get married maybe you might accept it but as time goes it is going to be annoying you day per day and it is going to destroy your relationship it is going to destroy your marriage sometimes in your marriage you'll be feeling like there is no sense of being married if i'm sharing bills with this man <laughs> better live alone and do everything on my own you know 
because don't think that this man that is telling you to share bills make 50 50 <laughs> when he marries you then everything will be 50 50 no some men will make 50 50 on the bills and when it comes to very important decisions to make he makes decisions on his own because he is the man <laughs> he wants to become the head of the house he wants to do everything he wants to be bossy he wants to command everything in the house because he is the man but again you are sharing bills again it is 50 50 so that is why it doesn't make sense to me a man should stand as a man in marriage in a relationship so if you think like me do not marry this kind of a man and think he will change or maybe ah uh, it's okay if we do 50 50 that is good he will listen to me include me in his decisions he will respect me it doesn't work like that in most cases this man uses you only to pay bills only to divide the bills sign number seven to know if you're about to get married to a toxic man or white man is if this white man shows all signs of being a racist not only towards you but even towards people of the same color as you are he talks about them he shows a very strong hate about them and this man isn't even proud about you <laughs> he's not proud about you sometimes he makes mocking comments about your skin about the way you look about your hair my dear sister this man is in a relationship with you for another motive he doesn't love you because i believe if a man truly loves you if this man is healthy for you then he's going to be proud of you he's going to be proud of your skin <laughs> he's going to be proud of who you are you know but talking bad about your black sisters your black brothers you know we are sisters even if you're not from same mother same father then this man is toxic he is not good for you and he might be hiding another character that you don't even know guys that you don't even know that might be even worse than you think so don't ignore it it is not something to ignore no matter how old you are you think it's time to get married to this white man don't marry a man who is showing you all signs of racism sign number eight to know if you're about to get married to a toxic man or white man is if you're in a relationship and you feel very tired you feel drained you feel unhappy you feel insecure you feel like it's not you anymore everything has changed but not in a good way in a bad way and this is due to how this man treats you possessiveness towards you he's showing that he doesn't trust you so it is draining you it is making you feel all the time you feel like all the time you feel like maybe you are sick but you're not sick you are tired my dear sister this relationship isn't healthy for you this man is not healthy for you it's better to end the relationship no matter how your family likes this man <laughs> because some men will show good behaviors <laughs> to your family to your friends but when you are together that's when you see the real the real him he shows you everything to make you feel very sad very drained very tired hate yourself not wanting to take care of yourself then you shouldn't marry this man there is no reason to marry the man who will make you feel like that you should marry a man who will make you happy who will make you feel positive i'm not saying that if you get married to the right man then everything will be like wow paradise you live like there is no fight no fights are there we are human beings we are not perfect but some characters guys are very difficult to handle they are so difficult 
and that is why I'm telling you these signs all these signs that I've mentioned they are very important and you shouldn't ignore them because marriage isn't easy you should marry a right man that you understand each other you don't fight always a man who will be proud of you a man who will listen to you a man who will love you for who you are guys then marriage will be good you'll be able to tolerate each other some small misunderstandings because you grew up in different backgrounds everything is different so <laughs> some misunderstandings happen sometimes but if you think that you love this man so much you love him very very much that you don't want to leave him bring the matter on the table talk tell him i don't like one two three four if you don't change then that will be the end of me and you and give him time to change if he doesn't change then my dear sister just stop this relationship don't go ahead and marry him it will ruin your life thank you so much guys i know this video has been so long but i hope it is helpful and you liked it if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are so good Comment below what you think about this video. I love you so much. From the bottom of my heart, you're always here. Let us meet in my next video. Ciao, ciao.